What's up guys? Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been uh, just jam-packed busy with uh, my move, but I finally finished it. So now I'm successfully in Washington with the family. So I'm putting out this next video. Um, this video is going to cover the Nixon Regulus in stainless steel. Let's do a quick 360. I have the uh, first Nixon SS I ever bought just for a size comparison. Um, but let's do a quick 360 of the Regulus. Just a quick disclaimer. I've seen this question asked a lot. This whole watch, with the exception of the crystal, is metal. So the buttons are metal. The case is metal. The band is metal. So just absolutely phenomenal. Um, let's go straight into the talking points. Starting off, we have number one, price. This is not a budget watch, guys. Um, MSRP is $250. Out the door after taxes, I spent just over $270. Um, I wouldn't say that that is ridiculous, especially if you're comparing it to the G-Shock 5000 series. Those normally go for $500 plus. So I think $250, $270, that's a perfectly reasonable um, price for what you are getting. Um, just keep in mind that this really isn't a uh, this isn't the normal 150 price tag on the uh, regular reguluses going on to the next item is this watch tactical schmactical dressy or casual uh, the essence of the regulus is tactical so I'm gonna say that it is a tactical watch or at least it can perform as a tactical watch you know it's gonna survive everything this is a very rugged very sturdy well-made timepiece however just because of the fact that it is in stainless steel, it is quite heavy. Um, it's just not practical to wear it out in that kind of environment. And also, you know, that's really not the purpose of the SS. This is more of a dressy timepiece, I think. So, I'll say it could be tactical. However, I do not recommend it as one. Um, definitely dressy. This will look great in a two or three piece suit. And even casual. Um, I wore it out yesterday, you know, just with a casual... Uh, sweater and uh, some shorts on and they look great um, next item is functions if you're familiar with the standard regulus it's no different at all exactly the same but we'll cover it for uh, first timers that are not familiar you've got four buttons this is the mode button light button and uh, these are how you uh, access your functions or use them uh, on the main time screen this top one changes it to your dual time so it's annotated up here. I don't know if you can see it, but it says time two or T2. And that's how you know you're on your dual time. <clears throat> uh, and then this bottom button changes it from day of the week to the date to the year. And then <clears throat> for your first mode, you've got stopwatch one and two, which are access to these buttons. So the top button accesses the top stopwatch and the bottom button allows you to use the bottom stopwatch. <clears throat> And what's great about this function is you can keep it on the stopwatch mode because uh, your main time and date and all that information is displayed here. So if that's what you prefer, keep it on the stopwatch mode. This is great for military and law enforcement. You know, if you are timing uh, multiple teams, even in an industrial environment, this is a good feature to have. Yeah, so you hit the button again to stop it and then hold it to reset. Next function is the timer. Right now we've got timer custom. This is a time that you set yourself. So you hold the mode button to adjust the time. Right now I have it set to five minutes. Um, <clears throat> if you want the pre-programmed times, it goes to timer program. So you've got seven, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 60. So pretty generic times that you can time from. Um, but if you want a more specific time to uh, do a timer, then go to timer custom. Next function is alarms. You've got three alarms and you can just cycle through them through this button right here. So one, two, three. Sorry, I'm trying to get the glare out of this picture. All right, next. All right, that's it. That's it for functions. And the cool thing about the main time screen is you see these zeros right here. Those are your stopwatches. So if you go to back to the stopwatch and you start a stopwatch and you go to main time, you can see by the up arrows that that stopwatch is going and you can see what you know where you're at in regards to time right there in the main time so it's just a really cool um, 
feature set that allows for a multiple multiple ways of using using this watch how you see fit all right <clears throat> next item is illumination let me go ahead and turn off the lights I will be right back nothing new with the illumination here but it is fantastic oh. so right there there you go just a very pleasant white light not too bright in the dark I would have preferred for a red light just because you know red is a lot more easy on the eyes in uh, no light dark tactical environments uh, I think uh, Nixon should really change that or at least have it as a um, customizable feature you know if you go to adjust and you can change it to a white or a red light I think that'd be really cool visibility visibility is great for a negative display um, obviously it's not going to be as good as a standard display but for what it is you know I have no complaints I never have any issues seeing it looking at time out in the Sun out on the bright day right now what you're seeing on the screen is really just what it looks like on a regular day so no complaints there next item button and crown placement fantastic I wear this watch on my left wrist so I really like the fact that the buttons are on the left side of the face and on the top so there's no chance of me ever really depressing any buttons with the back of my hand <clears throat> you know obviously if you wear this on your right wrist you're gonna have that issue but even then you're really not gonna accidentally press these buttons in my opinion next item band quality and comfort band quality is what you would expect if if you know anything about Nixon um, I've never had any complaints with their bands here's my very first Nixon SS just a superb fantastic quality watch overall and including the band same thing goes for the Nixon it's just super beefy super rugged uh, you could probably even tell through the screen but like this is just a hefty watch and it's super sturdy super solid um, as far as the fit and comfort fantastic it came perfectly sized for me it does come with more links to make it bigger and uh, it's super easy to remove the links if you need to I have slightly above average um, wrist girth if you will wrist thickness um, so if you've got uh, skinny wrists then you probably are going to have to remove some links but if you're like me you know thick with two C's then you should be fine uh, next item overall should you buy overall fantastic uh, I really have no negative things to say I'm, I'm a fan of Nixon so my opinion might be biased I do have several Nixon watches and I've never had any complaints with them I think for what you're getting and the price that you're paying you really can't beat it you know you've got companies like Casio and I love Casio I love G-Shocks if you watch my channel you know that I love G-Shocks however their pricing is just always ridiculous it's always overpriced because of the name I think for Nixon you know obviously you're paying a pretty penny or you know you're paying a lot of money but it's just nowhere near as ridiculous as uh, G-Shock so if you're a fan of the B5000 then you'll be a fan of this one and you know your wallet won't cry because you're not dishing out half a thousand dollars for a watch I think 250 is more than reasonable and I don't think you'll have any regrets getting this people are going to compliment this watch every day that I wear this one I get a compliment somebody comes up to me and says hey man what is that watch that looks clean and I I have no doubt that I'm gonna get the same response with this one so anyways that's all I got to say highly recommend it if you got the cash if you don't but you really like it you know just save up a couple paychecks and you'll be able to get it no problem um, I hope that this video helps you with your next watch review or sorry with your next watch purchase uh, thanks for watching and tune in for my next episode all right bye